Wild Skies Europa Tempest is a game of anthropomorphic diesel punk sky piracy in the air above 1930s Western Europe. It's often described as taking Disney's Tailspin and Sky Captain of the World of Tomorrow and just smashing them together in a game of fantastic fun. The game uses the compass system developed by Wet Ink Games, which uses percentile dice to roll against skills. Those skills are also modified by up to 5d6, depending on how proficient your character is. Those 5d6 can modify a skill roll up or down in the system, which is designed to reward accuracy rather than just big numbers. Your characters are often granted rewards for getting a resounding success, but are also penalized for falling into a critical failure. Every skill has a benefit and a penalty based on your resounding success and critical failure ranges. And the better you are at something, the easier it is to fall within those ranges. Now, it wouldn't be an anthropomorphic game if we didn't talk about the kind of animals that you're allowed to play. We have over 40 different animal types, from songbirds to waterfowl to canine to large cats. Anything that you can really think of, you can find a way to fit it into one of these categories. And each one of these animals are granted different animal types and abilities, which can help modify them and make that anthropomorphic part of the game really stand out. We also go into the various powers in Western Europe at the time. Now, our divergent history follows a different path than our world took. Technology is more advanced. Political systems may look a lot different than what you recognize from your history book, but there's always that hint of our history which you can find weave its way into the histories in this book. It's a great game and a lot of fun, but one of the things that I'm most proud of is the Moral Compass system. The Moral Compass combines the experience and the alignment system of the game. Your characters set their goals around an actual compass rose, and those are the goals that they're trying to reach. Their true north is their, their motivation. As the characters advance and as they try to reach those narrative milestones, they get those rewards bit by bit. Once they reach one of those goals, they erase that moral compass and they can rebuild it however they see fit at that narrative point in the game. Wild Skies Europa Tempest and Wild Skies Liberating Strife, which dives into the industrialist Dennington Corporation of the Americas, are both available on Wet Ink Games' drive through RPG page. We also have a number of free downloadable products, including character sheets and moral compass templates, which you can use at your disposal. There's also some downloads that you can find there, including adventures and new mercenary groups that you can use and add to your game.